Salvation is a gift that God has given to us freely. But it is a special gift. It is different from many other gifts that we receive. Because this gift, we have to work for it. How is it a gift if we have to work for it? Because it was God's initiative that Jesus came on earth to save us, to walk with us, to live with us, and in the end, to die for us. We did not ask for it. God initiated everything. He saw that we needed to be saved. In fact, even before Jesus came on earth, the process of salvation had already started. It started at creation, through the life of the Israelites and through the prophets that came after them and during them, God had been doing something to save humanity. Jesus only came as a summit of what had started before. He came as the conclusion, as the sum total of the whole history of salvation. So if this whole process of salvation is a gift that God has given us, that he himself initiated without us asking for it, how do we then have to work for it? Today Jesus talks about the narrow door. That we have to strive through the narrow door for us to get to the kingdom of God. For us to get to where we want to be. All of us here want to end up in heaven. Nobody wants to end up in that place, Jesus says, where there's going to be a weeping and gnashing of teeth. We come to church, we pray always, we ask for God's, for God's mercy, for God's grace to allow us, to permit us to find ourselves finally in his kingdom when we die. This is our desire. And we pray always that God grants us this desire. But today Jesus says, you have to struggle through the narrow door. You have to go through pain. You have to go through the struggle of getting into the kingdom of God. It is not just a free walk into the kingdom. There is something that you and I have to do. And Jesus has been very clear in all his teachings that you have to be loving. You have to be an initiator of peace. You have to be the face of Jesus himself wherever you are. Of course, that in itself is not easy because we are not gods ourselves. We are not angels. We are still human beings with a lot of limitations. And these limitations that we have as human beings make it very difficult for us to indeed be even the face of God to one another. And that itself is the narrow door through which we have to pass for us to get to where God is. And for us to pass through this narrow door, we indeed need God's grace. We can't do it on our, on our own. We pray for ourselves today that in all the activities of our lives, we may always remember that we are just trying to pass through the, the narrow door. God has given us salvation, but this salvation is something that we have to, to do for us to claim it, passing through the narrow door. This is what we do every day of our life. We pray to God that he grants us this grace to pass through this narrow door so that we may finally find ourselves in his kingdom where we can enjoy his presence forever. Amen.